again as usual i'm always excited to be here and i'm glad you are here in today's episode we are going to be looking at what is in my cover <laughs> i love my tea absolutely now many years back if you ask me to take a cup of tea i would say no why because i grew up hating dairy milk anything milk product i don't like so i kind of gave up on tea when i actually started nursing yes nursing made me a tea lover yeah because he always offered a cup of tea all the time and i kind of felt he was like always saying no do you want a cup of tea no do you want a cup of See, no. it looked weird and in a new culture and environment i realized that tea was like a bonding factor <laughs> yeah i have to find a shortcut to bond with my colleagues so i started experimenting and e exploring the whole concept of tea and i ran into the herbal teas specifically the green herbal teas and i realized they come in different flavors and the fact that my taste bud actually love is strong and so i came up with a few of my favorite ones which i've had and i always have in my cupboard <laughs> yes there's quite a few of them now so i'm just going to go through them with you and we'll look at what the benefits are and how i feel about them i hope you find it interesting and you find it useful too so sit back get yourself a cup of tea well if you don't like to get yourself a drink any drink at all sit back follow me right through to the end don't stop follow me right through to the end as we look at our herbal teas so first up are the green teas now i have to say that i buy most of my um teas from lidl or aldi yes two I reasons why i love the flavors they have two they are very inexpensive so i don't have to rob a bank or break a bank to get myself a decent cup of tea so my first teas will be my green teas yes there are three of them i'm going to talk about them collectively but i'm going to show them individually to you so my first one is my decaffeinated green tea my choice of these tea bags depends on my mood and what i hope to achieve at that particular time <laughs> i know it's just a cup of tea but yes i put thought to it because i want to get the best out of it and the other thing i will say is i will usually go with bigger cups as well so you will find more than one bag of tea in my tea cup just to let you know so the green teas have been proven to have good benefits and some of these includes heart health so when i mean heart health i mean there is the um, research that shows that it contains necessary ingredients that helps to lower blood pressure so if you're one of those who have blood pressure concerns or blood pressure issues while you're having your tea why not try the herbal tea that way you're gaining whatever benefits that has been found that it gives so it lowers blood pressure it improves uh, cholesterol health so it lowers cholesterol as well we know those are those bad fat that go in to clog our arteries causing a lot of damage that ends up with blood pressure and all the complications that it comes with we also have shown that it can also prevent the risk of stroke improve skin health so if you have skin conditions like cirrhosis or um, dandruff green teas are one that is recommended that does not mean you depend on it alone no you still have to contact your medical professional for individual input but this is just a compliment so it's a complementary thing the other benefits of green teas obviously are some level of weight loss so if you find people who are trying to lose weight like me <laughs> like me yes yeah you will find green tea around us yeah if you are a witness please leave your comments in the comment section below so that i know i'm not alone in this mm -hmm. so yeah there's the research shows that there are some small benefits that can be gained uh, from taking uh, green tea in terms of weight loss so that's a good one every little helps it also uh, claims to have some improvements in memory so what is there to lose from having a cup of tea with all of these benefits so the lemon 
So I would usually have fresh lemon in the house to add to my tea. However, sometimes I might run out of fresh lemon. So I always keep this one handy. It still gives me a little benefit and the flavor, the zesty flavor that comes from lemon um, itself. We will we'll know that lemon is a good and a rich source of vitamin C as well. And vitamin C is good for warding off infections. Yes, like common cold, flu, sinuses, and a whole lot of them. So vitamin C improves immunity. When our body's immunity is improved, it's able to fight off infections. So yes, I get some added benefits when I take my green tea with lemon flavor or actually taking my green tea with lemon so that's a good one to go the second one among my green tea's favorite is the jasmine tea yes the jasmine has added benefit as well just like the green tea weight loss is promoted uh, bone health is promoted oral health is promoted and it also claims that jasmine itself has the tendency to help lower uh, type 2 diabetes sugar so it helps to balance out sugar therefore reducing sugar levels for those with type 2 diabetes and balancing out uh, insulin levels so that's good mm -hmm. if you're one that has diabetes like i said this is a complementary management not the actual management you still have to see your medical professional for proper input this is just a complementary thing and um finally this is the actual green tea and if you see the label there it says decaffeinated i don't know if you're seeing it clearly decaffeinated yes so that literally means there's no caffeine in it so like i said having my cup of tea depends on my mood what i choose or what i want to attain at that particular time so if i'm finishing my night shift i would usually not go for caffeinated uh, green tea so i would prefer to have the calf green tea i know that uh, caffeine is lower in green teas and herbal teas but having the decaf means even less caffeine or no caffeine at all so that's a good one for me so if you're the one that wants to stay away from uh, caffeine especially if you're drinking it for the purpose of blood pressure and all of that then the caffeinated version will be the best option for you so my next best tea Apart from the packs of green tea, the next thing you will see around me or in my tea cupboard or my tea cup, my ginger lemon tea. So, my ginger lemon tea, I always take my ginger lemon tea, either just as I'm starting my night shift or if I'm on my day off when I wake up in the morning. I do a lot of night shifts, so that's why I'm trying to explain all of this. Now, ginger, like the name, apply. It help ginger you up. So, when I'm ready to go conquer, mm -hmm, stay alert, be bright, be fair, ginger is the one to go. And my ginger tea comes handy. Plus lemon, like I said, lemon has uh, vitamin C that helps. So, a combination of these two is one to go for. It improves your memory. It helps you stay alert. So, that's why I take it just as I'm starting my night shift or immediately after my break or my night shift. I love to take my ginger tea so to continue to stay alert and keep at what I'm doing. If you're feeling a bit of nausea or a bit sicky or feel like you want to throw up, ginger lemon tea is one to go for because it improves that. There's claim for men that it improves menstrual cramps or menstrual pain. It improves muscle pain. And um, if you have IBS, what we call, uh, I'll put it on the screen, what we call the uh, irritable bowel syndrome. Yes, ginger lemon tea is one to include in your copper. Um, and it also helps spike metabolism. So if I'm, take, if I'm taking this in the morning, I'm boosting my metabolism. That means the chances of me losing weight better, feeling light, feeling on top of things. Yeah, is there. So that's one and also the claim that it actually improves uh, or prevents kidney stones mm -hmm. so like i said earlier like tesco every little helps and my next one is peppermint infusion i love peppermint tea and there has also been claimed that peppermint tea has a lot of uh, benefits for the digestive system because of the uh, mints 
or menthol that it contains so it helps with bloating gas indigestion and all of that so i take this when i feel like i've overfed <laughs> Or probably I ate a little bit late or I just want a little bit of that minty flavor so I just kind of have this so peppermint just as we know it contains mint or menthol which helps with freshening of breath so that is a good one if you eat a lot of spicy food like I do yes that's a nice uh, breath freshener we know that some of the toothpaste also have a lot of peppermint flavor or even the gums or the sweets just just a fresh breath so this is one to go while you're hydrating yourself you're also getting the mouth fresh so my other one is my chamomile tea i love my chamomile tea and i will usually have my chamomile tea when i want to relax there's research to show that it has a relaxing effect and a calming effect that helps you fall asleep if you want to fall asleep or just relax after a stressful day chamomile tea is the one to go for and i usually have it in my cup of tea immediately after my night shift yeah so if you meet me finishing my night shift and i'm making a cup of tea be rest assured chamomile as long as i have it will always be one that will be in my tea cup now the other three that i always have around will be the berry raspberry yeah raspberry and peach pear and apple or apple and pears so they come with their fruity benefits but my main purpose of taking them in my tea is the varying flavors that it gives so if i want a little bit sugary sweetie i go for my very berry if i want just a little bit of here and there i go for my peach and my raspberry and if i just just another flavor sometimes decide my apple and pear so they give me a balance usually you will not find my cup with just one of either of these my typical way would be i wake up like this cup of tea i made i wake up in the morning like i said i want to be alert i want to you know be all over the place i will have my lemon and ginger so the ginger keeps me awake plus lemon i will add either this my very berry or pear and apple or raspberry and peach and sometimes i add a bit of peppermint in it yeah a combination of that is my cup of tea and a fresh drop of lemon and if i'm out of lemon of course you know that i'll go for this green tea yeah because it will give me that lemon flavor that i need one last tea that i will not forget to tell you about is the red bush tea the red bush tea yes this one just like the chamomile tea has a soothing and relaxing effect and it can actually get you sleeping yes so a combination of this is what you might most likely find in my cup of tea immediately after my night shift because i want soothing relaxing and a nice few hours of sleep before the next shift starts i hope you've enjoyed this haul now it's time for me to enjoy my cup of tea another tip for you your cup of tea is best brewed not in hot boiling water no the two best tips to get the best out of your herbal teas are don't use 100 degrees boiling water just let it be about 70 to 80 degrees boil so when you start hearing that sound before it start boiling all over the place then it's ready for your tea put your bag or bags as you want pour in your cup let it sit for a minimum of three minutes and up to five minutes best i will always let mine sit up to five to ten minutes i assure you that i love it actually warm that way i enjoy my tea perfectly so that's your tip for staying to the end mm. oh wow nice tea now if you've watched up to this point i want to say a big thank you and i would love you to just just for me to know that you've got up to this point put in the comment section 
what are the two main tips for making up your cup of tea or your herbal cup of tea that I mentioned just before now. Till I see you next time. Remain blessed. Share this. Bye bye.